What's going on guys? Welcome back to Trap Fish Aquatics. Today we are going to be talking about fish in cycling. Um, mainly for anybody that is just getting into the hobby because chances are you got a tank, you went out and you got fish and now your water's all cloudy and you're trying to figure out what's going on because your tank smells funny. So we're going to talk about fish in cycling, how to do it safely and get you through and make sure your fish survive. So stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, fish in cycling. This is not something that I would recommend be done on an everyday basis. If you plan on setting up a tank and in preparations in the future, I highly recommend fishless cycling because um, you're not risking the loss of any fish, you're not putting any fish in danger, um, and personally I think it's a lot easier. Um, so fish in cycling can be done and if you're new to the hobby and like I said before you got a tank, you set it up and you're having problems now your tank smells, you got cloudy water, fish are dying or they're getting sick um, it's because we haven't established the nitrogen cycle in the aquarium um, so the nitrogen cycle being the buildup of ammonia and the bacterial colony that breaks that down into nitrites and then breaks that down again into nitrates um, with ammonia and nitrites being very toxic at low levels and nitrites being toxic but at much higher levels so generally safe um, that whole process has not taken place yet so we need to do that and chances are you're not going to want to rehome your fish to do a fish list cycle so you're going to want to keep them and do a fish in cycle so i'm going to tell you guys how to do that and hopefully save you guys some time and you know save you guys as fish because you don't want them to die you just got them um, so the number one product that i'm going to recommend for you to go out and buy is seachem prime so this is a bottle of seachem prime right and what is Seachem Prime? Seachem Prime is a water dechlorinator and a water conditioner. So if you have city water or town water, chances are they use chlorine or chloramine in it to kill any bacteria that's in there. And um, you don't want that in your tank because that's going to hurt your fish, it's going to hurt your bacteria cycle, which in this case hasn't even started yet. Um, so we want to uh, dechlorinate the water, add that per directions on the back, and you know dechlorinate your water get your tank water good right so the other thing that it's going to do is it detoxifies ammonia nitrites and nitrates um, so being now that your aquarium isn't already cycled you're going to have an ammonia spike so um, in order to do this you're going to want to get a test kit um, I recommend the API master test kit get that test your water and see where your ammonia is at generally speaking to cycle an aquarium you want between one and two parts per million um, would be the ideal marker with fish in you could do a little less it's going to take a little bit longer um, but one to two is about where you want it um, so one to two is very toxic to your fish so why is it that you want it there um, that's the ideal range for the nitrogen cycle to establish so what you're going to want to do to make that level safe for your fish is you're going to want to take prime and you're going to want to dose this daily um, when you dose this for 24 hours, um, it detoxifies your ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates, and uh, no longer are they a hazard to your fish for a 24-hour period. So go ahead and dose that daily, and you can use that the entire time through your cycling process until the tank is established. So basically, you get your ammonia one to two parts per million. You start well, you start dosing prime because now you know about it, right? And you keep testing to see nitrites right once you start seeing nitrites that's a good sign that your bacterial colony has begun to establish and it's breaking down the ammonia into nitrites so what's going to happen after you start seeing nitrites is it is going to start breaking down the nitrites into nitrates and you're going to see your nitrates starting to climb and as your nitrates climb you're going to start seeing your ammonia and nitrites starting to drop as your nitrates climb nitrates climb so when your nitrates are the only thing showing so ammonia and nitrites are no longer showing in your test and nitrates are only showing that means your aquarium cycle has established and you no longer have to use prime um, to protect your fish um, because nitrates are less toxic than ammonia and nitrites um, unless you let them get out of control 
and they go up like over 160 parts per million. And then even then, some claim that it's not as dangerous as ammonia and nitrites. Um, but you still want to keep nitrates under 40 um, just for the ideology of your fish so that they're the happiest they could possibly be. Um, so that's how you can do it just using Seachem Prime. Um, it is going to take probably about six weeks for it to fully establish. So make sure you've invested enough money in Prime. You know, buy one of the big bottles. Um, and if you have city water, you're going to want one of the big bottles anyway because you're going to need it every time you do a water change. Um, I bought this bottle when I first got into the hobby, and I've used half of it, and I've got 20 tanks. Um, I have well water, so I normally don't use this unless it's an emergency. And I probably haven't touched that bottle in six or eight months. Um, another way you can do it is with a bacterial starter. So there are many bacterial starters that are available on the market. Personally, I recommend Fritz Turbo Start because that actually contains a live bacterial culture. Uh, there are other products that you can get at big box stores that claim they do the same thing, but for my testing, do not. Um, uh, one of the products that I can talk about is uh, API. Uh, their bacterial starter um, is a dead bacterial culture, so you put that in there and essentially it does nothing. I don't know if they bottle it as a dead culture or if they bottle it as a live culture, and just because of the long shelf life, it ends up dying because it doesn't have a food source. I'm not 100% sure on that, but from my experience, they are all dead cultures and they don't really do anything. The other thing that I've tested was the store brand, like the um, Top Fin. Uh, their bacterial starter um, is essentially sugar water. You pour it in your, your tank and the sugar water breaks down, turns it into ammonia and starts the cycling process that way. Um, so in my opinion, Fritz Turbo Start is top of the line. If you want to cycle the aquarium in less than a week, get that, get it in your tank. It will cycle that tank because it is a live bacterial culture. Highly recommend that. Um, something else you could do is you could get um, pre-established filter media from somebody else's tank and either get them to squeeze it out in a bag of water so you get poopy water and you dump that in your tank and that will help uh, cycle the aquarium much faster or just get a like a intake sponge or something like that some established medium and put that in your tank and that will help do it faster um, so there's a couple different options for you for uh, fish in cycling to make it happen but the number one thing you have to do is detoxify that water, make sure it's safe for your fish, and dose prime daily until the cycle is established. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching Traffish Aquatics, and I will see you guys in the next video.